Uh, just a uh, response to some comments. Uh, Christian Weller, uh, 4288. I don't know why everyone's got these digits after their name now. Um, but Christian Weller is quite right. Uh, looking at the Sophie Little BBC Norfolk piece, um, which I described as a rant, I was using the term which uh, was used in the uh, various reports um, that I sourced. And uh, you're quite right. It it wasn't really a rant. It was a clear um, uh, recitation of fact, uh, as you say, just a clear explanation of her position and those of her listeners. And I think um, I, I I think the BBC is so desperate to justify the huge um, money that it is paying out to these big stars like Gary Lineker uh, and in order to justify that it's getting rid of the bread and butter of the BBC output the local the local radios the local television channels um, and the smaller uh, program making exercises we need to get back to these we need to get back to uh, weekly drama, uh, real drama, not this constant um, uh, replication of small-scale filmmaking. We need to we, we need to find a way to get uh, real theatre on the BBC, perhaps um, looking at what uh, theatre offers around the countryside, um, because the BBC could could promote a revival in theatre in the UK. it Although I'm a great fan of musicals, I find it really sad that you go to the West End in London and there is almost nothing but musicals available uh, in the in the big theatres. Why? Because it's very, very difficult to pay for those big theatres with anything other than a big glitzy musical. And those big glitzy musicals run to many millions of pounds to stage and therefore... Uh, they require this some um, international effort and an international audience. And straight plays are much harder to uh, to devise on that format. They do exist. In my experience, not very many good straight plays seem to be getting into the West End at the moment. Uh, and we could do more, and the BBC could definitely do more to encourage that. And similarly, BBC Radio, except radio, the, the, the whole thing has been reduced to very small truncated bits. So if you switch on Radio 4, what you get is either repeats or um, a bit of women's hour. That's it. And, and you don't get the in-depth analysis that used to be there even 10 years ago. I find that disappointing. The obsession with the BBC with advertising itself. You, we, we used to be told the BBC never does adverts. Well, the BBC is constantly doing adverts. You can't switch on the BBC now without an advert for itself. This onanistic self-indulgence. The BBC should be above that. And the BBC needs to do a great deal. Uh, Vector Tracker, again, agrees and says, fantastic speech. No wonder it was cut because, of course, the truth. Because, of course, it was the truth. And the truth in this day and age is a dangerous concept. Bad books... 476 says excellent video good on Sophie for speaking out about the cuts uh, along with the damage the Tories have made to the BBC it is very sad I don't think it's the Tories I think it is the BBC having listened to Treasure Chest many times I will miss it but hopefully Sophie gets another radio show with another station um, and uh James Stream Media says, how is shutting local radio a Tory thing? I'm afraid I agree with that. 
Stephanie King says it's all about control by the BBC epicenter in London, which is a slave to the government. Shutting down local voices has always been part of authoritarian tactics. Uh, this is one. This is but one piece of evidence that the country is on the road to unfreedom. Uh, again, I'm not quite sure I entirely agree with all the content of that, but I agree with the sentiment. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Strupkinski. What an admirable young lady. It is not a rant, but genuine heartfelt words. James Stream Media, the BBC Charter, says BBC programming has to represent all demographics. Shutting local radio proves they are in breach of their own rules. BBC is done just like blockbuster video. Um, and Midnight Blue says, hope so. They don't deserve to carry on. Michael um, Wells 6797 says, I agree with every word this brave young commentator said. As you say, Prof, absolute cheap rubbish replacing good local radio and TV. Um, James Stream Media says, BBC want a younger audience to replace old people. Radio is closing because too many TV license cancellations have created a financial black hole. Um, Piccadilly Pit. Nine two one one. Nice to see Piccadilly there. Uh, says um, destroying everything we love in Britain. That's the Tory way. Um, and uh, so anyway, I I I I'm I'm, I'm so pleased. This has uh, provoked some sort of response, uh, and um, it was certainly intended to. And I'm I'm delighted to see so many people have added their comments. Please continue to add your comments. And as I say, I use the word rant simply because that was in the source material and it seemed the appropriate way uh, to describe this. But I, I agree with you. It really isn't a rant. It's quite a, it, it's quite a, um, uh, a restrained and informed uh, piece of journalism. <laughs> 